My name is Julie Faith Van Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to create really cute little chalkboard labels for these lunch containers. So I have some chalkboard laminate loaded onto my machine, so I'm going to go ahead and from the built-in patterns, there are some patterns in here that already kind of look like labels. For instance, this one is really cute. Now I know because I've measured my container that it has to be less than two and a half by three and a half, so I'm going to go ahead and size it down. And when I feel like it's the right size, then I'm simply going to say OK and OK again. And I'm going to hit set. Now I need to scan in my material. So I'm going to go ahead and press the scan button. So once it's scanned in, you can see it's really dark. So I'm going to go ahead into the settings and I'm going to lighten that up. And once I've done that, you can see it's easy enough for me to place this exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new shape and I'm just going to go ahead and hit pattern. And in the basic shape, there's lots of fun shapes for you to choose from. I really like this scallopy one here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And again, I'm going to size it down so it's less than two and a half by three and a half. And once I feel like it's good, a good size, then I'm going to go ahead and hit set. And then I can go ahead and drag that into place as well. Now, you don't have to think of them just as labels, because other fun things that you can add is how about if we go into the kind of flowery shapes, and there's this cute little leaf, which I actually think would also make a great label. So again, I'm going to make that less than two and a half by three and a half. And once that's done, then I'm ready to take it and add it into the mix. So here it is. I'm just going to drag it on. And let's go back. I have four containers, so I'm going to go ahead and now add a fourth one. If you had 50 containers, you, of course, could add 50 designs or whatever it is that you need. You could make them all the same. You can make them all different. I think that this one is really cute. So we're just going to go ahead and size that one down as well. And when it's a good size, we're going to say OK. OK again. Set it. And there it is. Oops. There it is, ready to drag on and to cut. So I'm going to hit OK and cut. Now, I have already done a test cut, so I know what my blade is set at. For me, my blade is set at a one and a half, no pressure, and speed down at a one. So then I'm going to be ahead and ready to cut. So now that this is cut, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the machine. And this should come off as one big sheet because, of course, I calibrated to cut through only the top layer and not through the backing. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel that off. And once this is peeled off, I can simply pull out and remove my labels. They look so cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and right onto the lid, I can just go ahead and place that down and use my finger to smooth it. Look how cute that is. And then I can take a piece of chalk and I can write in whatever is in there today so that when I send this school lunch with somebody, they'll know this contains peas. And of course, when it comes home, all you do is wipe it off or rinse it off, and then you can change it to maybe the next day this is going to have apples or something like that. There you go. Super cute. But let's see what the other shapes look like. So let's see. That's, ooh, fancy. I don't know what you would call this shape. It's kind of a fancy shape. But I'm going to go ahead and again, just using my finger, I smooth that on. I have my chalkboard label. And let's go ahead and get the next one. And now this is super fun because this is food containers and it's great also like if you are sending um, your kid to school with something and you want to make sure that, you know, they know, you know, there's no nuts in here or something like that if they're going to share or whatever the other thing is. Or even if you're just opening the refrigerator and you want to write on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if you're a person who does lunches ahead of time, you know, oh, this leaf is maybe my favorite. I just think it looks awesome. So take a peek at that. Really cute, right? Or if you have different kids that have different needs, then you can write their names on them. That's another fun idea. So when they open the fridge, Jane knows that that one's for her. And Ed knows that this one is for him. And maybe mom knows that this one is mom's treats and nobody should go near them. And of course, they're super easy to change. Just simply wipe it away. And maybe some, maybe dad decides that he'd rather have them instead of mom. So I hope that you will give writing chalkboard labels or cutting chalkboard labels, I guess, a try. It's a super fun way to send lunch to school to know what you have in your refrigerator. And of course, it works for lots of things other than lunch containers. So thanks so much. And for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balgerdesigns.typepad.com. And of course, check out the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. Hey.